This is a quick introduction to sentencing guidelines for Apple iPad. You've got a list of uh, menu options down the left hand side. You can see the first most important one is offences, which links to the magistrate's court sentencing guidelines. And this provides a list of offences by A to Z, by page, by group, and by Act of Parliament. If we select by group, we jump down to use the rolled X with the letter M, that's the Magistrates Court Census Guidelines. We can then get down to motoring offences, and you can see the spine of the index reflects that of the standard A4 folder, paying for motoring. The principle of the application is to allow you to build up a set of favourites across offences, explanatory material, and any of these other tabs so that you have quick access to these items in court. So, for example, you could build up a definitive motoring suite of favourites covering the typical offences you see in your motoring courts. So, I can favourite an item from the index, but also from an offence I've just viewed. So the way this does work is the last one added is the last one on your list of favourites. So I could, having built up a list of these favourites, simply uh, click on an index and that takes me directly to the offence, double tap and I can scroll into that offence, tap to the right or tap to the left and we switch through pages, and you can also scroll through like this. So we also have a favorites button on the top of the offense viewer, which allows you to jump perhaps to the next offense on a court listing. So favorites work across all the indexes, so if we have any explanatory material which we, we may have uh, noted or, or wanted to, to reference in retiring, those again appear inside favourites. And the same applies to additional guidelines. So if we just complete um, a few of the favourites. Court bench books is also covered. We have adult court bench books, family, youth, crown court, and companion to crown court. So back on the adult court, if we make favourite a couple of items, you can now see those appearing for, we did the guidelines, there's the bench books, and you can see they're grouped under adult for the adult uh, bench book. We also have tools for chairmen, so we have adult, Welsh adult, family, youth and Welsh youth pronouncement cards, and these again can be used in the same way. So if we are structuring a pronouncement for one of our defendants, we could add these to favourites in a specific order and run through those on screen. So favourites, back to the next one, favourites, and the final one. We can also add our own documents into the application. So we have, for instance, a list of documents I take into court. So applying for licence after disqualification, just useful information, but also a summary of, summary of bail, something on common assault, and some information on TV licenses, and an item from Chris Hunt Cook, which is the overloaded vehicle uh, matrix, just in case we need that before we have an axle fine calculator. We have a list of courts. We can just jump down to a fine looking court at Leamington Spa. We have a history of items we've gone through and looked at. We can deliver updates to you if we have a judicial change, and there is a help library if 
for you to jump through uh, some additional information. And just finally cover the final tools we have. We have the pop-up guideline finds, which are at the back of your pronouncements book. Finds calculator, you'll find a detailed uh, training course for this within the Apple group and the wiki. We have drink drive disqualification dates. We have a speeding grid. Axle weight calculator on its way. And we have a German dates and LASPO 2012 dates for community order completion dates down to 24 weeks. That's a quick introduction to sentencing guidelines for iPad.